When an angle is, uh, is presented as a true bearing or more simply just as a bearing, what we're saying is that it's measured from due north at zero degrees and then measured clockwise. What I mean by that is a, a bearing of 60 degrees. So we would start with due north at zero degrees and then we're going to measure clockwise 60 degrees. So if I measure 60 degrees clockwise, that would be roughly right here. So that would be a 60 degree bearing. Now, if it's presented as a bearing, that's not useful to me when I'm dealing with trig. I need this converted to an angle in standard position. The angle in standard position measures east as zero degrees and then measures counterclockwise. So I need to figure out what that angle right there is. Well, because we're on the first quadrant, this is simple enough. Since I have a 90 degree angle right here, if this is 60, then my standard angle would be 30. So converting from bearings to angles in standard position is simply a matter of draw your bearing based on the angle that you're given. Keep in mind for bearings, zero degrees is due north and then we measure clockwise. Uh, and then break it up into smaller pieces using the fact that each quadrant is 90 degrees to figure out what the standard angle would be. Let's look at one that's a little bit more challenging. 200 degrees, a bearing of 200 degrees. So we're going to start due north is zero, and then we're going to measure 200 degrees. Keep in mind every quadrant is 90 degrees. Due north is zero, east is 90, south is 180, west is 270. Keep in mind we're looking for 200, so 200 would be somewhere in the third quadrant. So this angle right here would be 200 degrees. Now keep in mind I can break that into smaller pieces. This is a 90 degree piece right here, this is a 90 degree piece right here, and then if this is 90, this is 90, we have a total of uh, 180, we got to get to 200, that means this must be another 20 degree piece right there. So now, let's convert that to standard. The standard angle would be this angle right here, keep in mind this is 90, this is 90, I just need to know what this piece right here is, well if this is 20, that must be 70. So my standard angle would be 90 plus 90 plus 70, which would be 250. One more, a bearing of 305. So again, start at zero. This is 90. This is 180. This is 270. So 305 would be somewhere in quadrant two. There's my bearing. I need to figure out my standard angle, which is right here. Keep in mind for my bearing, this is 90, this is 90, this is 90. So 305, that would make this 35 right here, which is 270 plus 35. So if that's 35, 90 minus 35 to get uh, uh, this piece right here. 90 minus 30 is 60, minus, so that would be 55 right there. And since this is 90, 90 plus 55, that would give me 145 for my standard angle. 